Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have confirmed their plans to break away from Kate Middleton and Prince William, but the Queen was forced to intervene on their plans. The split between the Cambridge and Sussex households was announced last year but Buckingham Palace officially announced the separation last week. The move comes ahead of the arrival of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first baby, due next month. The Sussexes will move to Windsor's Frogmore estate, where a former staff cottage is being renovated to accommodate the young family. Meghan and Prince Harry's new office will be based in Buckingham Palace, while Kate and William's office and home will remain at Kensington Palace. While some royal sources have insisted the split between the families has nothing to do with a rift, others have insisted relations have cooled between the so-called Fab Four. Now. The Sunday Times has revealed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex wanted to distance themselves even further from Kate and William, but the Queen intervened to block the plans. Harry and Meghan are understood to have lobbied for an autonomous new court, but the Queen and Prince of Wales, who will jointly fund their office, thought otherwise. A royal source said, they wanted their household to be entirely independent of Buckingham Palace, but were told no. There is an institutional structure that doesn't allow that kind of independence. The feeling is that it's good to have the Sussexes under the jurisdiction of Buckingham Palace, so they can't just go off and do their own thing. The couple are reportedly keen to build a global Sussex brand of philanthropy and humanitarianism. They had hoped to break out on their own with a new style of work distinctive from other members of the royal family. It was previously reported that both couples would retain their offices at Kensington Palace, even after Meghan and Harry moved out. Now, however, it has been confirmed Meghan and Harry will work out of Buckingham Palace instead. They are also expected to have an apartment at Buckingham Palace in due course. Penny Jr., biographer of both William and Harry, said, Everything I hear is that the relationship between the two households is not as close as it used to be. It is not just the sisters-in-law but the brothers too, which is sad. Those boys were so close and their plans were that they would remain close, that Harry would be William's wingman. Royal commentator Andrew Morton said he expected Harry and Meghan to spend a lot of their time supporting charities outside the UK in the future. He said, Prince Harry has said he would like to live outside England and at one time said he wanted to be a safari guide. Meghan in her single days would catch jets like most of us would take an Uber. 